people who can't see really well, maybe the like the phone could read out the numbers because it knows the roles, etc. Or you're a nerd and you want to know your stats like perfectly, right? Like the thing could record everything, right? So there's a, a range of applications, you know, starting from it's just a cool light up die. It's an electronic die. It lights up. It has full uh, color RGB LEDs, like 21 of them actually. An accelerometer, uh, wireless charging, and Bluetooth communication. Right, so it's really packed with electronics. And the idea here is to make, well, first a cool bling die, like something that just lights up, uh, and so you can take to play your regular games. Just use it in, in place of, you know, a regular six-sided die. Or if you're a maker or anything, you know, interested in taking it further, take advantage of like the Bluetooth part and build new applications with it, like games that take advantage of the of the communication. Uh, maybe um, play games online with your friends. Right? Use the die to communicate your roles. You know, like I know a lot of D and D players do this, for instance. Uh, use it maybe even for accessibility. People who can't see really well, maybe the like the phone could read out the numbers because it knows the roles, etc. Or you're a nerd and you want to know your stats, like perfectly, right? Like the thing could record everything, right? So there's a, a range of applications, you know, starting from it's just a cool light up die, and because it's a two-way communication, right? Like the app can make the die play certain animations, so. You know, on a great success, it could light up all kinds of colors. Or maybe, you know, you're temporarily disabled, so the die just doesn't light up anymore. You just can't use it anymore. All kinds of, like, ideas like this. Um, uh, yeah, that's great. And um, I, I was looking at this here, and it shows, like, the different prototypes as you go through, like, the design Absolutely, phase. Can you yes. talk us through that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So I had the, you know, first idea, like, oh, you know, it could be cool, you know, after trying to figure out of, uh, how to bring electronics into games and stuff that I love because I mean you know by day I'm a game developer right um, I was like okay maybe I can make a, a smart die right and so the first prototype I just went with what I knew which was you know rigid uh, uh, boards and then tried to stack them in clever ways so that I could put LEDs on the sides and you know so they would face exactly the right way etc but that left like no room for battery uh, or anything, um, and so then I, I somehow got the idea from MIT on some project, and I saw them like wrap a flexible PCB on something, and I was like, oh, that's gonna, you know, and so I started trying, and I made a first version, and it kind of sucked, <laughs> but it was the first one that had a, a, a flexible PCB that I wrapped around, you know, the battery, put it inside the case, etc. Uh, but at the time, I couldn't find a uh, rechargeable battery, so I had to leave it open. Uh, and, and have like screws so I can take the thing apart and there and as a result it's really unbalanced it just doesn't feel good eventually I was able to find a rechargeable battery uh, and somebody gave me the idea for like wireless charging and like I'm gonna look into that and so this version is finally uh, fully encased right it has a, a lipo battery in the middle a little wireless coil and because now I don't need to open and close it I was able to pot the whole thing in epoxy which you know only made it not only made it like really solid and rigid and feel great, it also uh, evened out the density. So as a result, they're like really well balanced now. So uh, when can I buy a pair? Oh God, that is the that is the best question, right? That's that's exactly the next step for me, right? Is now that I haven't done with the basement prototype version, you know, figuring out manufacturability, price point you know, find the, con the right contacts to help me through this process because, you know, it's a difficult step. Like moving from prototype to actual product uh, is a lot of, is a lot of unknown for me still, right? But it is generally, you know, difficult. So I'm looking for partners, I'm looking for people who, you know, who want to help me through this process, people who want to make applications using the die, because, right, like the, the whole point is for it to be, you know, open, you know, all the, all the source code and the designs are open source, of course, but even the application, I'm using you know the popular game engine Unity to design it because that's what game developers use. You know that's what hobbyists use. So if somebody says, "Oh yeah, I'm going to grab a pair of these dice and actually make my own app." They'll be able to use something that's free, that's available, that's really easy to use.